Hello and welcome back to another video, today we will be going over 15 facts about ancient Egypt. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Hieroglyphic Writing Ancient Egyptians developed a sophisticated system of writing known as hieroglyphics around 3100 BC. This system used over 700 symbols, including pictures of objects, animals, and abstract shapes, to represent sounds, words, and concepts. Hieroglyphics were used for religious texts, official inscriptions, and monumental architecture. They were primarily carved on temple walls, tombs, and papyrus scrolls, and their complexity required specialized scribes who trained for years to master the art of writing. Number 2. Pyramids of Giza The Pyramids of Giza, built during the 4th dynasty, circa 2580-2560 BC, are some of the most recognizable symbols of ancient Egypt. The largest, the Great Pyramid, was constructed for Pharaoh Khufu, Cheops. These pyramids served as monumental tombs designed to ensure the Pharaoh's journey to the afterlife. The precision and scale of their construction, using massive limestone and granite blocks, remain an engineering marvel, and their alignment with the stars reflects the Egyptians' deep knowledge of astronomy. Number 3. Pharaohs The rulers of ancient Egypt, known as pharaohs, were seen as divine beings, considered gods on earth. They were responsible for maintaining Ma'at, the cosmic order, and were the highest authority in both religious and political matters. Pharaohs were often depicted in elaborate art and inscriptions, wearing symbols of power such as the crook and flail, and their names were written in cartouches to signify their divine status. Number 4. Mummification Mummification was a central practice in Egyptian burial rituals, intended to preserve the body for the afterlife. The process involved removing internal organs, which were placed in canopic jars, while the body was dehydrated using natron salts. After 40 days, the body was wrapped in linen and placed in a sarcophagus. The elaborate burial process reflected the Egyptians' belief in the afterlife, where the preserved body would house the deceased's spirit. Number 5. Polytheistic Religion Ancient Egypt's religion was polytheistic, with a vast pantheon of gods and goddesses. Major deities included R.A., the sun god, Osiris, the god of the afterlife, and Isis, the goddess of magic and motherhood. Religious practices involved rituals, offerings, and prayers to these deities to ensure their favor. Temples dedicated to gods served as religious, economic, and cultural centers, and priests played a crucial role in maintaining the relationship between the gods and the people. Number 6. The Nile River the Nile River was essential to the survival of ancient Egypt, providing a reliable source of water in an otherwise arid landscape. Its annual flooding deposited fertile silt along the riverbanks, enabling the Egyptians to grow crops such as wheat, barley, and flax. The Nile also served as the main transportation route, facilitating trade and communication between Upper and Lower Egypt. The river's central role in Egyptian life led to the development of a highly organized society centered around agriculture. Number 7. Papyrus. Papyrus was an innovation of the ancient Egyptians, made from the papyrus plant that grew along the Nile River. Strips of the plant's pith were laid in layers, pressed together, and dried to create a durable writing surface. Papyrus was used for various purposes, including writing religious texts, administrative documents, and personal letters. It was also exported to other civilizations, becoming a key material in the development of writing and record-keeping across the Mediterranean. Number 8. The Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone, discovered by French soldiers in 1799, was crucial in deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphics. The stone, dating back to 196 BC, features the same decree written in three scripts, Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphic. Since Greek was already understood, the Rosetta Stone allowed scholars, most notably Jean-Francois Champollion, to unlock the meanings of hieroglyphic symbols, providing invaluable insights into Egyptian history and culture. Number 9. Construction Techniques 
ancient Egyptians employed advanced construction techniques to build their monumental structures, including the pyramids, temples, and obelisks. These techniques included the use of ramps to move heavy stone blocks, levers to position them, and precise alignment with celestial bodies. The sheer scale and precision of these constructions, particularly the pyramids, continue to astound modern engineers and archaeologists. The labor force, consisting of skilled workers and seasonal laborers, was well organized and supported by a sophisticated logistical system. Number 10. Medicine. Egyptian medicine was highly advanced for its time, with physicians specializing in various fields, including surgery, dentistry, and ophthalmology. Medical texts, such as the Edwin Smith Papyrus and the Ebers Papyrus, contain detailed descriptions of diagnoses, treatments, and surgical procedures. Egyptians used natural remedies made from plants, minerals, and animal products, and they understood the importance of cleanliness in preventing infections. Many of their medical practices laid the groundwork for later medical traditions in the ancient world. Number 11. Mathematics. Egyptians developed a robust mathematical system, primarily for practical applications such as building, land measurement, and taxation. They used a decimal system based on the number 10, and their knowledge of geometry was essential for constructing pyramids and other structures. They also developed early forms of algebra and arithmetic, including techniques for solving linear equations. Their mathematical achievements were not only vital for engineering but also for astronomy and calendar making. Number 12. Social Hierarchy Egyptian society was highly stratified, with a rigid social hierarchy. At the top were the pharaoh and his family, followed by high-ranking officials, priests, and nobles. Below them were scribes, who played a critical role in administration, and artisans and craftsmen, who created the objects and monuments for which Egypt is famous. The majority of the population were farmers who worked the land. Slaves and laborers, often prisoners of war, were at the bottom of the social pyramid. Social mobility was limited, but education, particularly literacy, could provide opportunities for advancement. Number 13. Queens and Powerful Women Although ancient Egypt was largely patriarchal, some women held significant power. Notable examples include Queen Hatshepsut, who ruled as a pharaoh and expanded Egypt's trade networks, and Cleopatra VII, the last ruler of Egypt before the Roman conquest. Women in Egypt could own property, initiate divorce, and wield influence, particularly in religious roles. Some queens were deified and worshipped alongside their male counterparts, reflecting their important status. Number 14. Temples and Tombs Temples and tombs were central to Egyptian religious and cultural life. Temples were dedicated to specific gods and served as places of worship, offering, and administration. They were often richly decorated with reliefs and inscriptions depicting religious rituals and the deeds of the gods. Tombs, particularly those in the Valley of the Kings, were constructed to ensure the safe passage of the pharaohs and nobles into the afterlife. These tombs were filled with treasures, food, and texts like the Book of the Dead, which provided guidance for the deceased's journey to the afterlife. Number 15. The Sphinx. The Great Sphinx of Giza, with the body of a lion and the head of a pharaoh, is one of the most enigmatic monuments of ancient Egypt. Carved from a single piece of limestone, it measures about 240 feet long and 66 feet high. The identity of the pharaoh represented by the Sphinx's face remains debated, with most scholars attributing it to Pharaoh Khafre. The Sphinx's purpose is also unclear, though it is believed to be a guardian of the Giza Plateau and a symbol of royal power and protection. Its massive size and mysterious origins continue to intrigue historians and archaeologists. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.